and welcome back. For today's tech tutorial, I will be discussing network connectivity and how to test and troubleshoot in Linux, specifically Ubuntu. So I will demonstrate how to test the network using ping, ifconfig, and ipadd, as well as going into some DNS methods such as dig, host, and nslookup. So this video will consist of all of that fun stuff. Let's get going. All right, so I have my Ubuntu VM up and I'm already at root. So the first command I'm gonna discuss is ping. Now, if you've worked on Windows, you're probably familiar with ping um, because it's the most common troubleshooting uh, command out there. Um, but it pretty much tests your connection between your PC and like a destination PC. So um, we're going to put ping and I'm gonna use Google as uh, an example. So 8.8.8.8. That's Google's um, IP address. Um, and as you can see, I'm getting replies, meaning uh, we are online and Google's also online and we are hitting it. So that's how you use ping. All right, the next command is probably not gonna work on this version because it doesn't work on the newer versions. It works on older versions. It is ifconfig. Let me type that real quick. Ifconfig. If I spelled it right, yes, okay. Um, <laughs> did I config? Yeah. If you're familiar with Windows again, um, you have probably heard of ipconfig, and that's how you, it just displays your network information. Um, and it's the same thing for Linux, ifconfig, uh, it also works on Mac, uh, except I don't think it's going to work on this version because it's newer. And yeah, it's not. I don't have the, the tool installed. Um, but what's great is the next command is actually a replacement of ifconfig, and that is ipadd. So ipadd gives IP information and other network configurations. Let's go ahead and type it in. It's ip-add, not dash, uh, space, add. There we go. All right, so as you can see, it gives the loopback information right here. It gives the IP address, the subnet. Um, so pretty much everything that ipconfig or ifconfig will give. Um, this is the, the newer tool to use. All right, so I'm going to space a bit. And the next command that I'm going to talk about is IP route. So it's IP route. Um, there we go. Uh, one thing I wanted to note is that Linux is very cap sensitive. Uh, it doesn't, like if you put IP route, it'll just kind of trigger an error. It doesn't know what the hell you're talking about. So just know that for the future. But IP route pretty much gives you the routing information. It also gives you the, um, the IP address, but it gives you kind of like the hops on your network. So that's helpful when you're troubleshooting. All right, let's turn over to troubleshooting DNS now. So uh, DNS basically converts a URL to a IP address. So if we're using google.com, it will convert it to 8.8.8.8. So the first command that I would talk about is ping, but since we already discussed it, we will move on to the next one, which is dig. So let me type this in here. What dig does is it queries the default server and if it gets anything back, it will display the results um, that it gets. So let's dig, and we're going to put, I almost put 8.8.8 here. I guess that would be the same thing, but let's put google.com. So we are, no space. We are gonna put dig google.com, and here are the replies that it gets. So we queried one thing, um, it's gonna show the A record, and that's the IP address. So this is helpful when you're troubleshooting DNS because if you actually get results as we did, um, then that means that uh, you probably have a different problem um, because if you were having DNS issues, there would be red all over here and the results would not show up. All right, next command I'm going to display is nslookup. So let me type that one in, look up. And this one pretty much does the same thing. Uh, it, it hits your default server, and if it comes back, it will display um, the A record and a couple of other things too. So, the next lookup, we'll do google.com again. All right, so this time I did both. So as you can see, here's the NS uh, lookup of Google, and it gives us our information as well as 
um, the IP address here. Now, if you NS look up the DNS IP, it will also give you the DNS um, URL. So you can go both ways. It really depends on what the issue is, but you can you can look up the URL and then you can look up the IP address just depending on on what issues you're having. All right, so the next command I'm going to type in is host. And this one, basic, I mean, they all do the same thing. All three of these, uh, dig, nslookup, and host, they do the same thing, that just the layout is different and maybe some of the information given. Like host for sure doesn't give um, the server details, uh, but it gives, you know, MX record, it gives a record. Um, so it's a preference thing. It's really whichever one you like to use and whichever one you prefer. So let's go ahead and type host. And this time we'll do the IP. All right, so here we put in the host. We put in host 8.8.8.8, and we got back um, DNS.Google, um, which is the URL. Um, let's see what happens when we put host. Oh, if I could like spell it right. Is that right? Yeah. Google.com. So here we got the Google's IP address. We have IPv6 and we get the SMTP. So that's uh, a little different than the other ones. So really, it's it's a preference thing. Again, um, it depends on what you need to figure out. It depends on you know what preference of layout you like. So um, all three of these do the same thing, uh, just whichever one you want to use. All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.